files into a back. Let's uh, write the function to upload the zip file to the database. So for that, uh, what we need is we need to update this function. So for that, I need a couple of things to import. So I'll import zero pandas HTTP and OS library for the uh, directory management in SQL Alchemy for the uh, database connection in the uh, setup parameter and zero alchemy for this uh, converting geometry to duplicating event. So, so let's start. So here in public published data, first of all, I'll uh, take the file name. So file file will be the instance dot file dot path. That means it will source the go to the instance and then inside instance we have this file directory and then uh, dot path will give the file path and then let's uh, check the format as well. Uh, format will be file dot uh, file dot base name. Sorry, not file. OS dot path dot base name. This will give the file name and then after that we have to split split it according to dot and then get the last result that means the file format and then file name will be the oas.path.base dot dot, dot name and then file and then split according to dot and then get the first name so yeah uh, this is the simple things and after that uh, since we are we are uploading the zip file we need to uh, extract it here so let's write this function for exporting the zip file, actually we need to import another thing as well, zip file. So import it, it's uh, freely available in the Python packages. So here I'll extract the zip file, zip file using the file read with, with statement zip, zip file dot zip, zip file dot zip file and then the actual file and then we can open this file in the read mode and then Name it zip brave. So after that, we can just zip brave dot extract extract all, and then it will extract all the things, and then we can add the file path. Maybe we need here file path as well. File path is called to OS dot path dot read name because this directory name of this file will be the path since we did not need the file name in the path. So file path will be like this, and then it will automatically uh, extract the file to the correct location. So after that, I can remove the uh, remove the actual file because I can remove the zip file. So maybe I'll write comment here zip file. And because we already uh, already unzip this file, so we can remove the actual zip file, upload file. Uh, after that, we need the, the SSP location. So for that, so maybe I need another module called blog. Blog because I am taking the uh, SSP file. So for this, I can just blog dot blog. Uh, it will iterate. All the directories. SSP and then dot format. And then this will be file path. And then I can specify recursive is going to be true. That means what it will do is it will iterate all over the our uploaded file and then it will uh, only take the considered the dot ssv file if there is dot ssv file then this location full path will be available in ssv otherwise it will not take anything so to get ssv okay after that we have to write the function now we can make the zero data frame so i'll name it as the zero data frame gdf maybe gdf equal to uh, G geo panda gpd dot uh, read file and the file will be this ssp so it will make the geo data frame so maybe i'll write the comment here uh, make geo data frame and after that we can uh, read the crs name so crs name will be the string of gdf dot crs and then dot srs so we can just print out it here CR, crs name CRS name. After that, uh, if uh, we can specify, uh, check the EPSG code. 
BFT code is equal to IRT C in alias A and then we can CRS we can replace it with the uh, BFT so, like this and then we can specify if the BFT is now we can specify uh, BFT equal to 326 that means alternate will be WDS84 
I'll uh, add all these files inside this data schema and then our our uh, file will be stored inside data schema. This uh, if exist means if there is already exist the same name table so it will just replace it and then I'll pass the index equal to false that means the index column and then the type will be the geo is the geometry and then I can pass the geometry maybe uh, here I can just print out while running our instance it, will, it should print out file with file and then print file name and then just print file path so just print out three things and then I can just check whether it's working or not I, I am just checking this SRS name as well and then yeah other things are fine I think so I can just save it and then just uh, I have to run my environment Django, Django server so let's run it and then now I try to upload the file so upload file from here and then I'll pass the name is file disk 2 and then description is the description and then I can choose the file so maybe inside Jamo where is my maybe this is jamo.zip file and then just check it out so yeah here is some error occur so we are going to sort this error let's see what happened so so this is the file please print out here so file is okay and then after that we have this file name is also okay uh, actually it uh, this if it found the same name here in the current directory cjamo which is already available in this uploaded date so it will just uh, create random name after that file name so the our file name will be like this and then after that our file name is this so it already extracted so up to i think up to here is it's working working fine so after that here is internal server error so maybe the line number 47 gdf so the uh, error is coming from this line so maybe i i can check the this ssp name so print ssp and then just type ssp so i can check whether in which section it has error these things easily I will get this print statement yeah. and then just try to run it again okay uh, yeah actually this SSP is coming uh, in the uh, early format so maybe we have to take the only one file so that means the SSP will uh, find out this array so I will take the Zero. zero means first uh, element of this list so I hope this will be fine so now let's try again CRS object has no attribute SRC okay this error coming from here so let's check no not SRC it is SRS okay let's check again okay here as well uh, type error drop got an unexpected keyboard argument instance so let's check geo data frame it is not instance actually it's in place in place equal to true because we are trying to drop this geometry field so it's just uh, type error okay still it has some error so to sql got an unexpected keyboard argument if exist sorry it's actually it exists so let's try again it's <laughs> lost of lots of errors so in actual coding you have to deal with this kind of errors so yeah it's, it's fine i think 
let's go go yeah finally our test 2 is successfully uploaded so was successfully edited without error uh, now we can check our things so this is the actual file which is from uh, this statement and this print file name is uh, this this is the our file name that means in postgres sql we we got we have to get this this uh, table name and then this is the file path so this one is the file path and after that other things are fine so, so let's go and check the uh, our table so since we uploaded here in the data uh, schema so our schema name is data and then our table name will be the file name so let's check inside this data schema here will be table so table name is jamun something something random name so if we just look it into it so uh, okay here is our actual zip file let me show you this zip file in QGIS as well so it's the same zip file we uploaded from our GeoJango Geo app to our admin dashboard uh, so let's let's check it out the same zip file uh, loading into the our QGIS so let's see and for that maybe I can show you the inside Django inside app we have this zip file so I will load the same zip file into the QGIS and let's see whether it's the same data or different data just just for verification so let's yeah, this geometry is something like this then this has lots of attributes like this so let's check the QGIS okay now it's the same zip file that we uh, uploaded it into the our GeoJango app in the Postgres SQL database inside data schema so the, yeah in this way you can just upload your zip file dynamically and then store it as the Postgres table uh, inside Postgres database I think uh, it will be a little bit advanced complicated but no, no need to worry because I, I also read lots of document and lots of things for making this one success so I hope you uh, this will be helpful for the further development of the uh, web GIS functionalities so yeah just uh, I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next uh, so in the next video I'll add the this uploaded a file dynamically to the geo server using geo server rest framework and then it will be available in the it should be available in the template as well so hope you hope to see you guys in the next video so see you soon